you go guys just wanted to um, say a little bit on um, what's currently going on right now I'm on going on day three of a migraine that is um, unfortunately it is really weird I never get migraines like this but it's like it would go away and I'm talking about the pain the pain would I would have it for a few hours I take something that goes away and for going on three days now it's just on and off on and off on and off I have tried um, uh, aspirin I guess um, no, no, it was Advil. Advil, that's right. Um, the 200 milligrams, I would take like two um, every few hours, and that hasn't done anything at all for me. I tried taking three of them earlier today, and then like tried to take a nap afterwards, because, um, okay, I think maybe if I just took a nap and maybe rested it at all rested it off that that would help but um, in addition to that I um, made sure the room was quiet but it was during the day so it was hard to get darkness and and I had a cold um, washcloth over my forehead and and still I woke up like four hours or so later and it was still there. The pain was still there. But then I got up and took some more pills. I took some more um, Advil, whatever it was. And did the washcloth thing. That went away. The pain went away for a little bit. And just recently started coming back. So basically I've tried everything to try to get to get rid of or at least lessen a migraine to where it'll just go away on its own but unfortunately I've run out of ideas um, I'm making this video for like future um, you know if I were to get a migraine say like next week okay this one might be over by the time I get any advice but I don't know but this is the longest I think I've ever had one and this is a very bizarre experience now because um, I don't know it's just it's rare for me to have one for this long what I recently discovered and I don't know if it's true or if it's been proven or not but I guess there was a discovery made that Dax um, which I've been taking for five years now, I know a lot of psychiatrists, whatever, would say that that's not healthy. But ever since the one incident of the withdrawal, the severe withdrawal, um, which I still have yet to get into, um, ever since then, nothing has happened, no, no addictions um, after that experience. Um, I recently heard that that can somehow, um, when nothing else has helped, that that would be an alternative, but I don't know how because a tranquilizer such as Xanax, I mean that would be the last thing you would think of when you try to get rid of a migraine. But um, there's one other thing I tried, oh, um, the, the hypnosis, that I have tried several times. Not even that gets rid of any pain at all. In fact, if I tried to lay down in a certain way, the, the pain is worse than other ways. I've tried research um, books, my self-help books. Not getting anything. Um, but let me know what your thoughts are on the Xanax part as far as migraines go, but if it even was um, said before that it could help migraines, I don't know where they're getting their sources from. But I did um, take two just about 
Oh, well, it should have probably been kicking in by now. Maybe it will once I lay down, but um, it's been like 20 minutes already. But I'm going to see how this goes. And I'll probably comment about it later on. Just, you know, let me know if there's any other alternatives that I can try for maybe the next time I get one. Whether it's this bad or not. Like, if there's any herbal products or any certain kind of tea. It, even though I know they say caffeinated drinks are bad. Which, I've looked at lists of foods to avoid um, if you have a migraine. And I was really devastated because it pretty much rules out all the food. All the food groups. It's like I can't eat or drink anything. I mean, is it true that when someone gets a migraine that it's not a good idea to eat or drink anything? Because, from my understanding, um, migraines are hereditary in my family. And, and I know that whenever one of us in the fam- well, um, just for the regular, I don't want them to be- the, no, I'm not gonna get into that, it's too personal. But, um, whenever one of us would get a migraine, we would have to eat or else we would get even sicker. Even if it was, like, trigger foods, like chocolate, of course, or soda, which is a common thing, but, um, Unfortunately, at this time, I'm not able to get my hands on any, um, foods. And, and really, I can't find any list of foods that they, um, have on the internet that actually, um, help to, um, either cure a migraine or at least the pain. All I find are lists of foods that you should avoid, and that's pretty much eliminating all the foods. Almost all of it. So, let me know what to do at this point. I feel very sick right now, and I just, I took two Xanax, and I feel that that's my last resort, and I don't want to have to take any more than two. But, um, YouTube, give me your thoughts on that. Um, I hope to bring you another hypnosis session soon, once I come up with any um, thing that I feel like I can cover, or topic. Unfortunately, a lot of people have asked about like depression and migraines. Two sessions right now I'm just unable to do. But I'm still looking into it. I mean, if you were to... Um, if you really, really desperately wanted a session for that, I can look into it, and if, like, you were willing to donate now. I do have a site up, and I have it working to where you can donate for sessions. But right now, I need to, um, try and take care of this migraine. And if, and if you did want a session, like, say, for migraines, I would... Do, do more research and see if I can come up with any scripts that I can use and, you know, just tweak it around to your personal needs and to make it easier on me because most of my sessions lately have been based on, um, you know, just whatever comes to my mind, whatever I know how to do at that moment. So I think for something that's that I haven't really tried yet, I'm going to do a script for it. Especially if somebody um, feels like they want to give something back for it, then I'll be willing to do something like that. Like, maybe weight loss. Maybe. But, um... And, oh, and those of you who did ask, um, YouTube now offers 15 minutes worth of video. But that's not going to stop me from making longer videos on mp3 
so I'm gonna see what I can do and I'll keep you guys posted my new website is linked on my June Yankee channel and I bid you guys a tranquil day as usual and um, well um, wish me luck and I await your support good luck with all your hypnosis needs and I hope to fulfill them as many as I can as much as I can have a tranquil day Oh, and good night.